All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Waka, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. This is going to be a, basically an impromptu. All right, a quick impromptu. I just uh, came across this uh, post here. All right, and um, it says here, these white people are now roaming Philly with the blessing of the police. This is what the president of the United States just endorsed. So I'm going to play it real quick. All right, just take a look. All right, you see them with bats, clubs, sticks. All right. And uh, you know who who knows what else they got on them. All right, but you know for all we know, this these they could be agents. They could be they could be staged. All right, but nonetheless, the vibration that's out there. All right, is the vibration of a race war. Okay, and you know it's it's <clears throat> what it's what it's being made out to be. All right, is just as you see it. All right, uh, what the world will see as so-called blacks versus so-called whites, which is really Jacob versus Esau. All right. As you can see in the comment, it says the race war is about to begin. Uh, it says uh, these people are armed with bats and no one is stopping them. The George F the George Floyd protesters were armed weren't armed at all. They're shot at with rubber bullets and tear gas, but they aren't two completely different Americas. All right, it says uh, there's the MAGA people. I was wondering where they've been. All right, because ultimately you gotta understand that you know. The, the, it's according to prophecy, which I have right here. All right, I'm gonna read it real quick. This is Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 15. For the sword and their destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. All right, and a modern day sword is a weapon. All right, so one people. All right, so called white people are one kind of people. All right, diverse from so called blacks. All right, or Latinos or Native Americans. And biblically will be known as Edomites versus Israelites. Okay? And you're going to have other nations mingled up in there as well. Okay? But according to prophecy, this will take place. Okay? So, you know, we'll see what happens. Maybe they'll get more and more people. And eventually you'll just start seeing the clash. Okay? Because that's according to prophecy, man. You'll start seeing the clash. As I was reading some other comments, people were talking about, oh, why, why, um... <clears throat> why, how come they're not coming to the hoods and all these different things, all right, but hey, according to prophecy, let me get one more scripture on it, all right, this is all biblical, man, okay, uh, Matthew 24, and please tell me what other book explains to you what's going on, why it's happening, and what's going to happen after, all right, it's none other book than the scriptures, okay, uh, Matthew 24 and 7, for nation shall rise against nation, uh, let me look up the word nation, all right, it says ethnos, right? A multitude, whether of men or of beasts, associated or living together, a company, true swarm, uh, a multitude of individuals of, of the same nature or genus, all right? No, not the human family, all right? A tribe, nation, people, group, okay? So the Israelites, or what today known as so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, yeah, you are of one nation, all right, of one one, you, you go, your forefathers, all right, or your lineage goes back to one man, which makes you one nation, all right? Esau, Edom goes back to Esau. We go back to Jacob, okay? So we are two different nations. So as it says, nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And that's what you're starting to see. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. So, yeah, you better understand that you have Edomites out there who... They're disgusted by this, you know. Number one, they really don't care about George Floyd. They could care less. Number two, they could care even more or less, all right, uh, uh, about how you feel about what happened to him. So now you're infuriating them by uh, 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 tearing up society, all right, and now they're looking at you like, like you know, at first if they were, originally they were looking at you as, you know, uh, niggers and spicks and all these things, but now they're just looking at you as uh, 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 savages, and they can't wait, you know. They want to get their, them KKK dudes, all right. 
think about this for a second, right? Back during the time of slavery, during the time when they had all, you know, when, when we were in a very, very low state, which we still are, but back then, Jake wasn't able to do the things they're doing now. And they still came and lynched you, all right? You look, you even look at somebody the wrong way. They lynched you. They tortured you. They, they set your lawns on fire. They burnt your churches just for you being so-called black. So how do you think they feel now that you're actually doing things and setting things on fire and rioting and looting and all that? You think they just feel like sitting back and letting things chill? No. Why do you think uh, uh, Trump has not sent the full force to shut everything down yet? Because there's given space to let the race war. Because if they were to bring the troops and shut everything down, everybody's at home, then how is this going to go on? But if you let it go on a little longer, let let the let the Edomites come out, let the clash go on, let the race war happen, let it get a little more chaotic before you declare that martial law. You know? You gotta bring that anarchy before before you bring the, the, the law. Alright? So like I said, it's a matter of, of uh time. Alright, we're gonna watch and see. Alright, what's going on? What happens here? Cause you know, they've they've there's been a, a couple of uh victims, alright, that are so called Edomites. Okay? So we'll see, we'll see what happens, man. But this is all biblical prophecy, man. All right, and this is unfolding right before your eyes. Anyway, with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahushai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Until next time, Shalom.